Whales are a widely distributed and diverse group of fully aquatic placental marine mammals. Uh, I'm getting confused, so let's just check out the stadiums of the Cymru Premier. Situated on the banks of a river, the name of which I can't pronounce, is Park Avenue, home of Aberystwyth Town. It's a small ground, but still, like a lot of the grounds you'll see throughout this video, it has a lot going on. A wide array of seating makes up its small capacity. There's an old-fashioned covered stand, which looks like a nice cozy place to watch the game from, a slightly newer stand, and some uncovered seating that is just as green and just as plastic as the field itself. We've got off to a good start. Maz Tegid, Bala Town. Interestingly, once Bala Town won promotion to the Cymru Premier, they were in need of some new seats at their ground. So they just went over to England and purchased some seats off a couple of other clubs, which was a Bala move if you ask me. Not really. On a sunny day, however, it's not the seats, but the grass embankment that seems like the best place to enjoy the game from. Not only so you can soak up the sun, but also so you can enjoy the backdrop. Unfortunately, from what I've been told, sunny days aren't a thing in a Welsh winter. Jenna Park, Barry Town United. To be honest, I thought the name Barry went extinct decades ago, but these guys are keeping it alive in a way that cardiologists weren't able to. I say that because when you think of Barry, you don't immediately think of someone who's in peak physical shape. So it's a little surprising that the Barry people have opted for a running track around their football field, which means that it isn't as intimate as most of the grounds in this league. Something that sets it apart in a good way, however, is that the capacity is coming entirely from covered seats. The Oval, Carnarvon Town. It's clearly not an oval, but I assume it must have been at one point. In its early days, this ground was chewing through tenants, hosting about a dozen clubs before Carnarvon Town arrived in 1937. They've been here ever since. Overall, the stadium is fairly straightforward, but one thing that isn't quite straight is the field. There's a fairly noticeable slope to it. Or perhaps it's the stand itself that is tilted. I would say we need to get the spirit level out, but I don't believe in all that supernatural stuff. Kinkoid Campus, Cardiff Metropolitan University. Ooh, a bit of college football, Welsh style. This is barely a stadium, to be honest. There's just a small stand on one side, and on the other side there is, well, not even a stand, but an indoor football pitch. However, while the capacity might be small, everything's new and shiny, and it's looking pretty good, I suppose. Llanachlian Road, Colwyn Bay. A lot of these grounds are situated in small towns rather than cities, and so, the surrounds have been rather serene. I think this one might take the cake though. It backs onto some hilly farmland, giving spectators a rather nice bucolic backdrop. It also gives the sheep in those paddocks a nice view of the game. To be clear, I'm not saying it's sheep just because it's in Wales. I did actually check. I don't like it when people perpetuate stereotypes about another country. Leave that to the gun-loving, God-fearing, cheeseburger-eating Americans. Deeside Stadium, Connors Key Nomads. Don't let the name fool you, they are not actual nomads, however, they won't be playing at this ground this season, due to issues that they've been having with the pitch. Instead, they'll be playing at KE Castle, a ground that doesn't have a running track, so despite being in a different town, perhaps the fans aren't too bothered about living up to the club's nomadic name. It's also situated right by an estuary, so you can go for a swim after the game, maybe not. But even better is the nearby Flint Castle, which is where the name of the ground comes from. Come to think of it, the walls that enclose the stadium are akin to a castle's. Not quite as grandiose, but I'm sure they keep the barbarians out all the same. Bridge Meadow Stadium, Haverford West County. The commercial name for this ground is Oggy Bridge Meadow Stadium. 
And although the name has nothing to do with it, I believe Oggy Oggy Oggy, Oi Oi Oi, is a popular chant in Wales. Personally, I find it quite annoying and I'm glad that it never caught on in Australia. This is a simple but very tidy looking ground. There isn't much in the way of quirks or character. The best aspect for me is probably the church that overlooks the ground. That when lit up at night makes for quite the sight. Latham Park, Newtown. This is quite similar to Llanelian Road in that it looks like it's been plonked onto some farmland. It's a quirky little ground made up of some very unusual stands. We've got this one, which is not a proper double decker. That's just where the TV cameras go up there. There's this stand, which is sort of built into the earth. Some grass embankments. Some new stands made almost entirely of metal. Yeah, there's no shortage of variety here, and I like it. Bintirian Park, Pennybont. On the surface, it doesn't seem like there's all that much to say about this ground, but it does have a couple of features worth pointing out. Firstly, there is this pavilion, which just looks like a quaint little cottage. And secondly, although the field itself is not made of real grass, there's plenty of the real stuff surrounding the field. The most unusual is this small stand that sits atop one of the grass embankments. USW Sports Park, Pontypridd United. Although named after the University of South Wales, it's not on a university campus. It's actually part of a newly built sports complex in an industrial estate. The stadium does have the equal smallest capacity in the league, although I think most of that 1,000 capacity is coming from people just standing around the boundary fence. At least the facilities are decent. There's even an indoor pitch nearby. Not as close as the one in Cardiff, though. Park Hall, the New Saints. You probably already know that some Welsh clubs play in English leagues, but here we have an English club in a Welsh league. The town has switched between being in Wales and England numerous times. I have no idea how they moved the entire town from one country to the other, especially back in the old days before they had trucks and whatnot. To the ground itself, it is all pretty standard except for this. Do I even want to call it a stand? They forgot to add seats, but people do stand up there and watch the game. Interesting. So there you have it, time to pick a favourite. It is tough, but well, this ground does have a bit of everything. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, have a good one.